Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, we continue with the topic of reproduction in plants and animals. And today we are going to discuss the last part of this particular topic and these are the advantages and disadvantages of the two types of reproduction that is asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction so we're going to start with the uh, advantages of asexual reproduction and this is what we saw earlier at the beginning of the topic the type of reproduction that does not involve the gametes or the type of reproduction that does not involve a fertilization so in this case a single individual is responsible for bringing forth uh, young ones and that one has the advantage in that uh, desired qualities or superior qualities are retained in the offspring. So what does that mean? That uh, if, for example, there is an individual or there is uh, an organism that has superior qualities or desired qualities, those qualities can be retained because the offsprings are identical copy of the parents. The offsprings are identical copy of the parents. Another advantage of a sexually uh, reproduced individuals, they have faster maturity. They mature faster because they don't have to go through a period of uh, maybe a period of dormancy like in the case of the seeds. So they just uh, we just produce individuals from the mature parent and then they, they can continue uh, their maturity. So they mature faster. Uh, also, offspring can be formed even when the other parent is not available. So it doesn't need two parents for there to be an offspring. An offspring can still be formed even without the other parent, just by a single uh, individual. So offsprings produced usually overcrowd in one area to minimize the influence of competitors. So the competitors that are likely to invade that area, they have lower chances or they have minimal chances. However, it has the disadvantages. So we have disadvantages of asexual reproduction. Some of the disadvantages are pegged on the first advantage whereby if the desired qualities can be they, they can be retained in the offspring, then it also happens that uh, if the qualities that were there were undesirable, then they'll also be retained in the offspring. 
something that can lead to extinction. So, undesirable qualities, if present, are retained, which can lead to extinction of species uh, number two there is lack of hybrid vigor there is lack of hybrid vigor which reduces adaptability which reduces adaptability to environmental conditions. <clears throat> We've also said that uh, the advantage of fast maturity and that fast maturity can lead to overcrowding of the same individuals in one area. So fast maturity or faster maturity can lead to overcrowding can lead to overcrowding and hence competition competition for resources. So that is as far as the asexual reproduction is concerned. Then we can uh, look at the advantages of sexual reproduction. The advantage is that uh, Sexual reproduction leads to variation, which brings about adaptability, or which brings about uh, enhanced adaptability. To environmental conditions. So variation because uh, there is mixing of genetic material from different individuals. So it causes variation and that variation is the one that enhances adaptability to, to the environmental conditions. Uh, sexual reproduction also forms the basis of evolution uh, whereby new species may emerge. So as a result of that mixing of the genes, there can be so many varieties that can lead to emergence of new species. However, it also has disadvantages of sexual reproduction. And one thing is that it cannot occur where organisms are in isolation so they have to be together where the organisms are isolated in different uh, setups or in different areas then sexual reproduction is not possible so there has to be organisms coming together and lastly be uh, sexual reproduction
may bring about gene combinations with undesirable qualities leading to extinction so on that we are saying that whereby <coughs> genes may combine and uh, they bring about many uh, undesirable uh, combinations those combinations may be unfavorable to the weather conditions and that may lead to some of the individuals becoming extinct so basically those are the advantages and the advantages of asexual and sexual reproduction which summarize now what we have been discussing in the entire topic both in the section of plants and also in the section of animals <coughs> So the assignment, we have three questions. The first question, state two advantages and two disadvantages of asexual reproduction. Two advantages and two disadvantages of asexual reproduction. And number two, what is the importance of hybrid vigor in breeding? And lastly, number three, explain how sexual reproduction may form the basis of evolution so that marks the end of the topic reproduction in plants and animals and we shall meet in another topic topic goodbye and nice time